Two on your side first exposed the pothole problems plaguing the streets of Compton. Tonight, our report got the attention of a U.S. Congresswoman. CBS 2's Rachel Kim joins us live from Compton, where frustrated drivers got the chance to sound off tonight. Rachel. Well, Pat Congresswoman Annette Berrigan said she wanted to host this town hall meeting tonight to bring Compton residents and city officials together to listen to one another and talk about what's being done. Two months ago, two on your side exposed the pothole problems in the city of Compton. Residents say they've been complaining for years to get their streets repaved, but nothing's been done. They say potholes have become such a problem, their cars are being damaged and they're making driving dangerous. They also believe the potholes are slowing down first responders, rushing to help residents. I know I have to zigzag, you know, through the streets uh, going home, you know, and it's very difficult and my vehicle is damaged. Who has the time? Who has the money to go ahead and get these things fixed immediately. People just don't have the time and money. The city of Compton should be responsible to fix these vehicles immediately. At the meeting tonight, the city manager told the crowd repaving projects have already started and there will be more. Congresswoman Nanette Berrigan said her office will continue to work with the city to make sure the projects stay on track. She also said one of the reasons she wanted to hold this town hall was to educate people on where the money is coming from. They are already using federal funding, uh, generally money that goes to community development block grants for other things. They're using that for streets here, um, but you know they're not seeing the Measure P money, uh, which a lot of residents believe was going to go just to streets. Uh, that's not being done, and so they're going to be frustrated to hear that's not being done. The congresswoman said if residents want to report a problem with potholes, they should contact her office. Also, if they want to file a claim for damage to their cars, they should also contact her office. But residents told us the process is entirely too difficult. Reporting live tonight in Compton, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.